Okay, let's do a filter clean on an Awaz A250. Let's get straight into it. So, there we go. Here's the filter. For the purposes of this video, I've already unplugged it. But unplug it. Don't forget to unplug the heater. Uh, if you've got the heater supplied, just combine with or without. So it's good to have a heater in the filter. So unplug the heater so it doesn't crack when it's the cold air. And then it's got two switches. One first, the pipes first. Then this mini filter, take the mini filter out, it will be full of water. Be careful with that. Then twist it. Should just come out. The sponges there are accessible. Uh, for you to soak them and rinse them in the water make sure you get all the water out of this it does get a bit messy there we go then pipes come out pretty easy lift the handle up four clips one on each side make sure the clips are away from the top of the heater pick it up gently carefully because the heater, put that down on a separate towel, then first tray, now I replaced my first fine sponge with the pure origin which now needs to go in some bleach and some filter floss which um, would normally need replacing. I'm probably just going to while I soak the pure origin in 10% bleach and water for uh, 24 hours to get it back to re to reuse it because it's discolored. Um, I'm probably just going to put the original filter back in the top tray. So that's the top tray out because to be fair, my water is pretty clear, so uh, I might not need to use the filter floss. So that's one sponge out. And then the next sponge, you know, a lot of people don't keep both sponges in. They replace it with biomechanical media but i've got two i've got one with seek and matrix and i've got another one with bio rings and then the other two are the original sponges and then the third one like i said with filter floss and pure origin so i'm going to keep the rings in here with the seek and matrix Make sure you put the trace properly on back on top of each other or you're not going to get the lid back on which that's so good done that yeah they're on round the rinse these sponges out just going to remove the filter floss now looking at the water <coughs> sorry you probably can't see looking in the water In the actual filter itself, uh, it looks pretty horrible. So I'm probably going to uh, tip that in here as well. Right. to lose the bacteria there, I don't want it to die. So let me fill that with water straight away. Like so. Even when you don't need to do water change you you know the end of doing water changes. Just if you're cleaning your filter or you want to clean your sand. I'm not going to fill it right up because I need the sponges to go in and I can always prime the filter anyway. So now I'm going to take the sponges, the mini sponges, rinse them out. Although they're probably not bad. I did this not long ago. You have to do this. Little mini fill are quite regular. Or it restricts your flow.
Brilliant. So put the sponges back on here. Brilliant day. Back in here. Lines up. If you get a little squeeze, that's it. Straight in, no twisting, no messing about. Right, we're into this mucky water. You can, oops, I'll just put it all over my carpet. Brilliant. Welcome to Fish Keeper. Okay, let's put the trees, trees back in. Gently does it. Put your hand down, make sure you're lined up or you'll not get the top back on. It will be a nightmare for you. So, it's not as easy as it looks. Yeah, I think that's on. Let's hope that's on. Okay. Extend, fill it back in slowly. The water will start filling out. There is a slot it goes into. Don't twist, just goes in one slot. Right, let's put these on if I can. Put the handle down. Move the lines out of the way. Right, hopefully. This will come in. Lock that first. Pipes. Now, the test is when you switch it back on, if it's not on properly, water will come out, it will come piling out. Pure origin in water, let's grab the bleach, see, about 10%, that'll do, and let that soak. 24 hours or 48 until all the pure gym was white. Now I've been handling bleach so I'm not going to wash my hands. Always wash your hands before, I'm in, before you put them in your fish tank just because you don't want any moisturiser or soap or detergent. Right. So everything's locked in place, all they're locked, handles down, they're locked in place. Put the tank up, put it back in. Of the fish as you do big test now before I turn it on this is a trick I've shown some of you guys in the past if you look at this one of the past videos is when I go to pump the filter it's gonna pump loads of muck out of the pipes through my filter back into my tank which is a massive disaster so what I do I take a took the spare spray bar the spare spray bar that came with this setup come in electrical tape skulls in it obviously put the pipe into an empty bucket under the pipe then I'm going to prime the filter switch the filter on and if there's any muck still left in the filter or left in the pipes it won't go back into my tank after I've primed it now let's plug these back in. Now I usually put a sticker on to say which is the heater and which is the pump. Just some random stickers. So I usually use red one for the heater, green one for the pump. Now, this way you gotta be careful because you switch the pump on, water may come spilling out everywhere if you've not if you've not all locked in place. Switch it on. Looks okay. Right, I'm going to prime it with this button. Prime the button. Which might take some doing. We are off, you hear it kick in then. 
that's it. It's full. Should start coming out now. Yep. And there are loads of disgusting bits coming out of that. Just as I thought. So I'll just leave it for a bit. Make sure all the, the gunk's completely out of the pipes. Yeah, water looks clear, okay. Let's, um, let's hope it is, and we're going to put the filter, the spray bar, back on. We're off, filling their back up. Yeah, so that's the filter cleaned. The pre origin is now soaking in bleach. I've not put filter floss back in. Um, I will do that. I'll put the original sponge back in, but I'll put the filter floss. But yeah, that's the um, one filter cleaned. Thanks for watching. Then you just finish off. Great British tradition, we're a nice cup of chow.